Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skilton. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, I'm going to talk about how to submit your revised manuscript with a proper cover letter and how to respond the reviewer's comment and upload your documents in a proper way in your Scopus Index journal. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Now, my dear learners, the first thing is that you can have a look all those resources that I already organized for my revised manuscript submission. This is my manuscript and this is one of the manuscript which is already reviewed and it is in the final stage. The journal asked me to review some issues. I already addressed those issues and now my aim is to submit the revised version into the journal. So, you will, you will have a look how to submit the review and revise manuscript with a proper cover letter for Emerald publication, Scopus Index, Elsevier or any other good publication houses which is a high index journal. They are following the same methodology or same process. The title of the study is an investigation on the effectiveness and trade deduction of ASEAN trade agreements. So, this is the article and you can see that the highlighted part is the one that I have revised which means the one that I have changed and therefore I highlighted that part. In my opinion when you are revising your manuscript you always try to highlight the part that you are revised or that you are changing from the previous manuscript. This is very important. As you can see here that my abstract introduction, all the parts where I have changed the necessary revise revisions, I have changed accordingly and added the information where necessary and highlighted with a yellow shaded line, which means the reviewer can easily find out where I have changed my writings and how it differs from the previous version of the manuscript. So, after doing that, you need to see what the journal requirement or following the author guidelines. In my journal, it says that you have to separate your figure, your tables, separate documents and upload it into the system. And therefore, I revise my tables separately from the manuscript, revise my figures separately from the manuscript, write down the cover letter separately from the manuscript, title page with author details because it is a peer reviewed manuscript. Therefore, you cannot put the author's information in the main manuscript. And as you can see here that this is where I insert figure 1 because my figures and tables are in the separate document and that is the journal requirement. Most of the Scopus index journal they require that. So, you, this is how you have to write insert figure 1, insert table 1 where the text requires you to add and where it necessary because these are the places where your figures will be positioned when it publish in the future. So, therefore, you have to identify the location where your figures and tables are and those figures and tables you separately put it in the separate word document. Okay. Now, let us go. This is the journal where I am submitting my revised manuscript, International Trade, Politics and Development. And this is where it says that, dear Dr. Abzal, this is how it says, they say that I have to submit the revision within 25th of this month, 25th of September. For my viewers and for the viewers sake, I am uploading today so that everybody can share the process and understand how it can be done through this process and hopefully it will be useful for everyone. So, let us get to that point. This is the where my manuscript is located and where is my manuscript? It is in the home section if you go international trade, politics and development. As you are submitted your journal, in my previous video I have shown you how to submit to a Scopus Index journal. You can do that the same way. And then once it gives you the revision, you just log in to the manuscript 
and the link is given to your email address. Here is the link. It says the manuscript and decision letter are located in your author center at this. If you click this one, the link, it will redirect you to the user ID and password. If you put the user ID and password, it will redirect you to this particular segment where it has two options of home and author. You pick the author okay and you will see your revised manuscript is there okay so now what you can do i am trying to do it again with you guys so that you can understand what i am saying so log in to the manuscript system go to the author and you will find your manuscript over here and it is due on 25th of september 2023 so i press continue because i am going to submit my revised version so i press the continue the step one is the review and respond to the decision later. So this is the decision letter and now there are some review. The paper is too much descriptive and it says that lack of hypothetical argument. It suggests some inferential arguments. It asks me to reduce the word limit and also it says that my continuous revision they appreciated for this process. So what would be my response? It is very important to put the response in this particular file. And I already, I already made a response letter. You can see over here that reviews of editorial board, reviewers comment to author, author's reply. Okay. So first comment is the author is too descriptive with the being lack of hypothetical arguments. The paper must suggest some hypothesis or some inferential arguments. And how do we res respond to that uh, comment? We said in section 5.2, the inferential test results has been included. Causality, GMM, all these methodological improvement are added. And I have claimed that this is where 5.62 section, it is already located. Now, the second point was reduce the word limit to 7000 word and we have resolved this issue. Other two comments are appreciating our work. So, we are not addressing these two issues. What you have to do, just copy this part, for instance, reviewer comments, just copy this part and what you have to do, go and paste it over here, okay. So, this is what it says in the reviewer's comment. So, what is your author's response? You say author response, okay, author response and how do we do that, author response? You just copy the author response from here because I already made it simply for us you can do it like this and here you go you put the author response like this way and now you do the rest accordingly once you finish your author's response what you have to do save and continue okay save and continue then you can see here that i already have selected the research paper this is my category this is my title this is the review located abstract so since I already changed my abstract, so what you have to do is copy the manuscript abstract that you have done, uh, changing the abstract part that you have already done in the new revised manuscript. What you have to do, just copy the whole thing, okay, copy the whole thing and copy the whole thing and paste it to this particular section, okay, particular section, just paste it to this section, okay. And you see the word limit is 250 words. So you have to reduce some comments. So you can just reduce some, some lines from your comments so that it will be easier to understand by the reviewer. Once you populate all the information about the abstract like purpose, design, findings from your manuscript, you just press save and continue. Okay. You just press save and continue. Okay. Now go to the next step. Next step file uploaded. Here it is very important you should remove your previous files because if you don't remove your previous files then the new files will be redundant and manuscript will not be submitted properly to the journal and the reviewers will not get your final revised version. So it is important that you delete all the previous files and upload your new files. So how you can do that? Just select and remove, select and remove, okay, select and remove and once you remove everything, then you upload your files into the system, okay.
new files into the system remove all the figures tables and all the necessary files previous files from this new version submission okay once you upload all the files required manuscript revised figure revised tables bibliography of, biography of the authors title page and reviews of editorial board all these files are already uploaded okay now once you upload it you just press upload it will file uploads to the system and once it done just press save and continue okay save and continue then the keywords i already added the keywords it's already done so go to the next step then here says authors and institution my authors list are already given over here with the proper orchid id email address and everything so these are all okay okay corresponding author and everything okay so all authors are listed so save and continue okay now it says the cover letter which is one of the most important thing in the review process so it says that the cover letter looks like this you can see over here what are the cover letter information should be you should write the cover letter like munshi nasir is my name and the name of the authors your affiliation address email address phone number then write down the journal name and then put the name of the journal's address then write down that dear editor in chief i hope this letter finds you well i am writing to submit our manuscript and title investigation on the effectiveness and trade direction of asian trade agreements for consideration for publication in the name of that particular journal then you write purpose of the study then you write the methodology then you write the key findings then you write the originality keywords and then you say that we believe that our manuscript is a valuable contribution to the existing literature and will be a particular interest to the readers of this particular journal write like that exactly this way and i'm i'm attaching this to our video description box as well you can have a look and then thanking the editors and then if there is a co-authors put it there just copy that part and paste it in the cover letter section okay once you finish your cover letter the final stage says you are almost done please view your proof below so review and submit the final stage is check your all the steps like the name the response that you are putting as a reviewer's comment your revision version revised version what are the comments that you address against the reviewer's comments then type and data all those information are properly there you just check all those things author's name and everything okay and then finally once it's all done go to view the proof remember click both these option view html proof and view pdf proof once you review both these proof html and pdf you just press submit and it will say this will submit the manuscript you just say yes and you are good to go with the final submission of your revised version remember my dear learners this is very important to follow the steps properly address the reviewer's comment and write the cover letter properly so that your revision will be clearly mention and journal will consider your publication consider your manuscript for future publication and i hope this video the process the steps will be useful for everyone to understand how to submit the revised manuscript with proper steps and cover letter thank you my dear learners i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye